Hey, what's up guys? Guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about custom component instrumentation APIs, which are generally available or in simple words, if I'll say lightning logger service. So using lightning logger service, guys, you can add observability in your custom lightning web components. Now, while you are hearing about lightning logger service, it might sound similar to the console log what we are having in uh, lightning web components, right? So in this video, I'll show you how this lightning logger services are different from that console log, the standard thing, and how you can use it to add observability in your custom lightning web components. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Fold. All right, guys, let's start today's video. So I'll show you guys how you can add this uh, lightning logger in your custom lightning web components and how you will be able to track it. So that would be the correct word uh, of it, like how you can track it. So here uh, I have created a component, which is basically empty component right now. And uh, I'll be adding a button here and uh, on the buttons click, I'll be adding that lightning logger service so in salesforce documentation they're calling it observability it means you wish to observe something i will say if you wish to track something if you have that detective inside you to track users activity then uh, this lightning logger is for you guys so till now you must have understood that uh, this is related to the event monitoring thing right to monitor users event you can use it but anyways, I'll show it to you how it is different from the standard console log events and uh, how you can use it in your org. Okay, so I'll quickly go to VS Code. Okay, so here I'm just having a lightning card. So first I'll be adding a button here. Let me quickly add a button. Lightning button, label, click me. Okay. And on click, we'll be having handle click. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a normal button, guys. Okay, now I'll be creating the function in JavaScript. So this is my handle click. Okay, now here in this handle click, I'll be adding the logger service. So for that, first you need to import it. So to import it, you can simply do import log from lightning logger. And uh, this lightning logger is uh, GA right now in this summer 24, they introduced it as GA, okay. Now here guys, if you will see, if I'll just uh, do, let's say log and uh, hello, I am lightning logger. Okay. Now the similar way guys, if I'll do console.log because whenever hearing about any log, uh, you know, uh, people are having confusion like in lightning web components, we are already having console.log to track the activity where user is exactly and see all those things in uh, console log, right? In console, then why we need this log? I'll show it to you, okay? Then here I'll add, hello, I am console, console log, okay? Now I'll quickly save it and deploy it. Now guys, there is a trick, you cannot use it directly, okay? To use it, you need to enable it first. Now to enable it, what you can do is, you can simply go to setup. And uh, this you will be only able to do if you're having uh, that add-on of event monitoring in your Salesforce org, okay? So you need to go to event monitoring settings. And here you can enable lightning logger events. This is the one 
in this setting if you will see i have enabled few more settings like view event log data and analytics app and uh, generate event log files okay by default all these will be disabled so you need to enable this one uh, without this you won't be able to use the lightning logger okay now i'll quickly refresh it i hope that is deployed yes okay you can see the button now now let me quickly open the inspect element so here is the console and if i'll click here click me you see this is the lightning logger service which is working here where you're getting your message component name it is saying not implemented and method name also not implemented uh, this is pretty new for me as well so technically it should be having the component name and method name from where it is getting called automatically I tried to put it uh, manually as well by adding manual parameter but couldn't get success because this is completely new for me as well so this is the message what you can see here okay so component name is still not implemented message and method name you're getting and the similar thing you're getting in this console log as well right now still the question remains same how it is different here okay so one of the thing which is possible in lightning logger and not in normal console log is you can pass objects okay when i say object that means uh, so let's say if you are having some object so i'm creating message okay and here i'm so i'm sending type event type basically as a click this can be anything guys this is just for the demo you can send anything and action i'm passing as approve okay and here you can pass n number of parameters okay it is just a simple object that we are creating in lightning web component now here in this log what you can do is you can simply add that object and the similar way if you will add that object here okay now let's see the output so in console log basically you cannot use object directly there's a way of using it but you cannot use it directly but in light this log service lightning logger you can use it okay now if i'll click on click me you can see the lightning logger here which says type is click action is approved component name i don't know why it is not coming if you guys are aware about the service and know how to populate the component name and method name please ping me in the comment section and here if you will see the object uh, the normal the console log service where you are not able to see it but still i mean in console log as well you can do uh, json dot stringify right to get the proper result okay with the console log you can still do json dot stringify and then your message it will be giving you the same result okay now if i'll refresh it here and click me then you will be able to see the similar result now still if you're thinking there's no different you're wrong here so the purpose of using lightning logger is to add the observability or track user activity right so let's say if i want to track users activity uh, how many users have clicked on this button how you will be doing it there's no way of doing it right now correct you won't be able to do it using console i mean you can track it live if you are doing it you will be able to see your console logs but as an admin right as an observer i won't be able to see those things so that's why we are having this lightning logger service here now using this lightning logger you will be able to monitor all those activity for that what you need to do is uh so in salesforce uh, recently they have introduced event log file browser which is still in beta version so previously there used to be some heroku application and uh, i was testing it with that heroku application uh, which used to have a good filtration and some chart and some you know dynamic things but uh, somehow i recently got to know that uh, that uh, heroku application is going to get deprecated in the july 2024 so i thought of not giving a demo using it because it will be deprecated in few months and this is going to be the future that people will be using so this is event log file browser 
where you will be able to see all the logs, these uh, uh, event logger as well, right, uh, triggered in your system. So here you can see there are different type of event which the service will be capturing automatically in backend like Apex callout, user login. There are so many things which the service is already tracking, right? The only thing which is, is which it is not tracking is the custom Lightning Web Component actions uh, where user exactly is on your custom Lightning Web Component. So for that, they have introduced Lightning Logger. So we'll just start it with Lightning Logger and uh, event interval we can have early event so uh, as we have recently triggered it guys we won't be getting the recent event okay but uh, yesterday also i tried the same and uh, after an hour or so it was visible so i think i should be able to show you one event from yesterday yeah so these two events are from yesterday's uh, data yesterday's testing okay now if i'll simply download it okay and uh, open it now here you can see this is my event data here okay now here you can see information like organization id timestamp device session id user type is there session key login key client detail uh, browser name is there os version the page url see where I was at that time the page URL is there and uh, there are other things as well like this is the message that I was looking for so type is click action is approved and component name instrument API pass no it is not coming automatically I have added it manually okay timestamp and all those things are there so that's how basically it is going to give you result and uh, to track users activity you can simply you know sort it here and uh, there is a query as well in dev console so there's an object event log monitor object from where from where basically we are getting this data in this event file browser so using the same way you can get it so uh, yeah the query is still here so if i'll run it now wait a second let me quickly move my picture a little so if i'll run it now here okay execute no it is not showing my events actually yeah so somehow i'm not getting it in this query but yes you can simply check it here in this event log file browser sort it out and uh, then have your observ observability on users tracking this is the same thing that receiving consent from user if we can track if the application can track your activities so this is the technology behind that tracking so that it is for today guys as always i'll be having the complete code on my blog as well which is salesforceworld.com if you need the complete code you can simply go to my blog and get it from there if you like today's video guys a subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching